Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will see how to request permission for display over other apps and how to float a widget in anywhere on the mobile screen. Let us see how we can code it. Now we have to use a plugin dash bubble. So for this open chrome and type dash bubble plugin flutter. Come to the installing section. Just copy this dependency and paste it in pubspec.yml file. Now copy this import statement and paste it here. Now let us understand this code little bit. In the column widget, we have three elevated button, request overlay permission, start bubble and stop bubble. Now when we press this button, request overlay function should call. So for this create a function name, request overlay function. And now the written type of this function is future void. Now create a final variable is granted. Now create the instance of request overly permission. Now wait for the permission. If user grant the permission, print permission is granted. If user deny the permission, print permission is not granted. Now this function will become async. Now when user press this start bubble button, start bubble function should call. Now we can customize the bubble with the help of bubble option. In the parameter of bubble option, give bubble icon in the bubble icon we can give our own image or we can use by default icon so to give our own image just go to the android app src main and then rest and now in the drawable folder just paste your image and it must be in png extension Now in the bubble icon, give the name of that image without the extension, test. We can set the size of bubble, bubble size 140. For now, set enable close to false. Now give the animation of the bubble, distance to close. Enable animate to edge true. Enable bottom shadow true. Keep alive when app exit false. Now, if user tap on the bubble, we have to create a callback method log message 
and in the parameter give message bubble tapped now let's create the start bubble method give the function name as start bubble and the return type of this function is future void now in the parameter give bubble option and void callback on tab now create a final variable has started create the instance of start bubble it accept two parameter bubble option and on tab now wait for the permission await now if has started variable give true print bubble is started else print bubble is not started now let's create the log message function it accept a required string message we have to return this message give log message now when we click this stop bubble button stop bubble function should call let's create a stop bubble function and the return type of that function is future void now create a final variable has stopped create a instance of stop bubble await and this will be async if has a stop variable return true print bubble is stopped otherwise print bubble is not stopped now run the program when i click overlay permission button this ask me to give display over other app permission when i click on this button bubble is showing and we can move it anywhere on the mobile screen
now when I click on stop button this bubble will stop showing we can also close this button with the help of enable close to true